Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be examining cells. We shall compare plant and animal cells, we will examine the structure of the main organelles, and we will briefly examine cell specialization. We will also look at the level of organization of living organisms. So what is a cell? A cell can be described as a basic building block of life. It is very similar to how blocks are used to for example make a wall in a building. When all of the cells are put together in a proper order, we have an organism that is formed. The individual cells are the smallest unit of life, or the smallest structure that is living. Each one of the cells can replicate independently. Some organisms are made up of a single cell, for example bacteria or amoeba. These are therefore called single cellular organisms. Most other organisms are multicellular, for example us human beings. Our bodies are composed of trillions of different types of cells. On this slide, we have a diagram of a typical plant cell. The main structures that you should be able to identify are the nucleus, the ribosomes, the cellulose cell wall, the chloroplast, the mitochondria, the cell membrane, and the large vacuole. On this slide, we have a typical animal cell. The main structures that you should be able to identify are the nucleus, the endoplasmic reticulum, the cytoplasm, the cell membrane, the mitochondrion, the ribosomes, and the vacuole. It is important that you pay attention to the structure of the mitochondria. Very often, the structure of the mitochondria is mistaken for the structure of a chloroplast. Here we have some human cheek cells that can be seen under a light microscope. In this instance, it has been magnified up to 400 times. At this magnification, all of the organelles are not visible. And this is basically because the magnification is quite low. Here is a diagram of a plant cell. In this instance, the cell is magnified up to 1000 times. We can see the nucleus at the center and numerous chloroplasts within the cell membrane or the cell wall. An electron microscope is quite powerful in its magnification. They can magnify structures up to 10 million times. So in this image, the nucleus is magnified. And if you look closely at the center, you should be able to see the nucleolus. And the main function of this nucleolus is to assemble ribosomes. And in turn, the ribosome function would be to manufacture proteins. You should also be able to observe a nuclear envelope around the nucleus. This is actually a membrane that surrounds the nucleus. Organisms whose organelles are enclosed within a membrane are referred to as eukaryotic organisms. The other type of organisms we have would be the prokaryotic organisms. And these organisms, their organelles are not enclosed within membranes. For the next few slides, we'll be looking at the function of selected organelles from both plant and animal cells. Cell wall. It is found in plant cells mainly, and sometimes it is also found in bacterial cells. The main function of a cell wall is basically to protect the cell. Take for example, in plant cells, if too much of water enters into the cell, the cell wall will protect the cell from bursting. Next we have the cell membrane. Cell membrane controls what enters and leaves the cell. They are described as being semi-permeable or selectively permeable. Next we have the nucleus. The nucleus contains most of the genetic materials and that is our DNA. Then we have the mitochondria. The mitochondria is also known as a powerhouse and the reason why it is called a powerhouse is because this is where energy is being produced. Here is where aerobic respiration occurs. Next we have the vacuole. The vacuole stores waste products and nutrients. Plant cells usually have a very large permanent vacuole whereas animal cells have temporary small vacuoles. Chloroplasts. The main function of the chloroplast is to trap solar energy or to trap sunlight and carry out photosynthesis. Ribosomes. The main function of ribosomes is to assist in the manufacture of proteins. Cytoplasm. This is mainly made up of water and dissolved salts and it contains all other organelles of the cell. Some cells or organisms have structures called flagellum. The flagellum assists in movement. It is a tail-like structure. Human sperm cells are also made of flagellum. Then we have cilia. Cilia also assists in movement. 
cilia especially is formed around some bacteria and it also lines certain structures of our system for example the respiratory system where it has a protective function 